Hey guys, Chris Castorado here with CAS. So it's obvious we're on a different communication medium now, so I'll get to that in a moment. But I want to briefly tell you about some upcoming changes that are coming to our organization. Look, the reality is CAS is just over a year old, and with our guiding principle holding true to always do what's best to advance cell ag, it's time we pivot towards where our efforts will be of highest utility. And this change while being something I've thought of doing for a while never made so much sense until recently, really with the conclusion of 90 Reasons. That list took over five years to develop, and looking back on the journey compiling it brought me to a time where I recalled my start in this space. For those of you who don't know me or my story, I got involved in this field after seeing the majority of people in it, which was really only a few dozen at this point, you know, about five years ago, were focusing on the very important natural science side of cellular agriculture. But I thought social science, essentially seeing what people, consumers' interests would be in this concept upon commercialization, was also really important. Maybe not immediately at the moment when we were exploring it, but in the future it de definitely would be. So that's where we geared our efforts. So I stand today with a very similar thought process, trying to analyze what's important today in 2019 and neglected in our field, and where it would be best to allocate our efforts at CAS. Well, it's obvious to me, just as it was social science earlier this decade, today it is design and video production. I would hope we're really on all on the same page here, that today in 2019, with the ubiquity of technology only increasing globally, nothing else can convey as intricate an idea as cell lag, as efficiently to the world with as profound an impact as design and video production. Google and YouTube are the top two websites in the world, and in my assessment, our field has an undeserving representation on these platforms right now, both by metrics of content and aesthetics. People should, and will eventually in grander scale, form their opinions on this concept through searches on Google and YouTube, especially because they're interlinked. These newcomers deserve to form such impressions of cell lag in a manner that can matches its conceptual potential, which is, of course, of exceptional value. In fact, at CAS, we call this threshold of excellence the CAS standard, a level to which content must reach before publicly relaying cell lag. So with that said, we will be redesigning our website to better represent this new focus and emphasizing CAS standard quality video content on cellular agriculture. We'll be back in touch soon with an update on progress in these areas, but we're very confident that this will prove to be an extremely effective area of focus in the coming years and decades for the people, the animals, and the world.